Hi guys, welcome to day 124 and of course it's Friday so that means proud work boot day so excellent, show you some pictures and some cool stuff so I'll start with uh, Charlie's homeschool book which says thank you very much for the money slip said yesterday about um, Charlie going to Flamingo Land and understanding about the healthy snack uh, great news about trying different juice because Charlie actually drank a, f a full fruit shoot yesterday which is incredible because Charlie would normally only ever drink milk so we are making tiny steps there so that's really really exciting uh, thanks for the wipes when we go to Flamingo Land it might be best to send his own pack up uh, rather than schools because again Charlie's very particular with his diet so we'll probably put him some, some of his pasta and cheese and some crisps and stuff that he likes in there uh, you know to make sure he does uh, have something that that he can eat so he's uh, he's not going well you know he'd have an option to eat the food obviously but I can see he wouldn't really take that as he doesn't eat sandwiches and stuff so that's no problem at all okie dokie okay okay so first of all this one was before Christmas at Charlie's Christmas play uh, sorry Charlie's Christmas party at school it says, Charlie enjoyed our class Christmas party. During the afternoon, Charlie played party games and shared party food with another class. This activity was approximately two hours. To be happy and confident in his environment, which Charlie achieved, Charlie was supported by a member of staff who would take him away if he became upset, which he didn't require. A lovely afternoon. That is amazing that Charlie's managed to stay in two hours within the same environment and not get unhappy once. Um, really, really over the moon with that. We haven't seen, we didn't see that one before Christmas, so absolutely pleased to for that. Uh, the next picture is there. You can see him wearing his funny little glasses, and the one just underneath there, where he's looking at his pex cards. Um, and it says Charlie spent a long time uh, wearing, playing, and engaging with the sunglasses in the sensory brown box, learning objective sensory trait, enjoy feeling different brown items. Charlie liked the sunglasses. Soft teddy, soft pipe cleaner and streamers of paper. Uh, he did require um, a bit of encouragement to touch and choose the items. Uh, and he achieved an interest in some of the items. So he's selected some with a little help and he has found some that he liked. Fantastic. Uh, learning objective to follow washing hand sequences using prompt cards. Charlie needed support in all aspects. Achieved washing his hands. So he got there just obviously... He's still requiring a lot of help to do that, which is fine, he's doing superb. Uh, the next two pictures are one at the top there, and one there, Charlie swimming. So it's Charlie playing with Play-Doh, objective to feel and engage with Play-Doh. He needed encouragement, physical support, so he's a bit reluctant to get stuck in there with the Play-Doh, but with a bit of encouragement support, he got stuck in there, so that's fine. And uh, this was obviously yesterday, I was at the swimming pool, spent a long time in the swimming pool, uh, objective to enjoy being in the pool. Used wo wo woggle, used woggle and toys in water. Uh, supported in the water. He achieved kicking his legs and bouncing and jumping off teachers' legs. So that's fantastic, and he's been so busy. I'm really, really pleased with that. Some fantastic pictures. So well done, Charlie. Um, I can currently hear him shouting because I'm guessing that's because his cartoons are on. He come in, he was happy, and he licked me and gave me a kiss. But I can see he's very, very tired. But it's Friday, hopefully he'll have a good sleep and perk up in the morning. And then it's just uh, dinner, bath and bed as usual. So that's a rundown of today, guys. Um, just before I go, thank you all for the silent selfies. We're still going strong, so that's amazing. Um, we've gained like 150 or something new likes on our page. Our Twitter feed's been going mental. And of course, you guys on YouTube, you keep watching our videos, so that's fantastic. Um, a week today at 12 o'clock. We are doing, in association with um, Awareness for Autism, uh, we sort of partnered up with them to do the Let, Let Silent Words Be Heard um, campaign where at 12 o'clock a week today we're asking everyone to status on Facebook and tweet and whatever else, hashtag Let Silent Words Be Heard um, to see if we can take our campaign viral. So if any of you guys would like to join in, that would be amazing. Um, if you like any more details, that's just a brief thing, but you can check it out over on our Facebook page at A Year in the Life of Autism or on our Twitter at Words for Words 2014. Oh, no, sorry, Words for Words 14. 
Um, or you could just drop me a message down below. Up to you guys, whatever you want to do. Um, but as always, thanks for watching. Let's have the words be heard.